got WMDs. Remember, they were looking for weapons of mass destruction when they went over to Iraq. Didn't find nothing. We got WMD in the church. The weapon of misinformation has brought so much destruction to the church. And when I think about that, Gary, I think about that the scripture that says in um, Jeremiah 12, 10, where it says that, they, that the pastors, they acted brutish and they, they desecrated, as my paraphrase, the pleasant portion. Mm -hmm. Which God's portion is his people. You go to anywhere and you'll find out that God's portion is his people. Yes. You know, so the doctrine that we have needs to be uh, put under the microscope. That's what Reformation does. Reformation says, okay, we thought it this way for so long, and it ain't happening for us. Grandmama them, great grandmama them, mama them thought a certain way, mm -hmm. and it didn't bring any level of success mm -hmm. in their life. So it's got to be something wrong. God forbid it. If we say Bishop was wrong 50 years ago, 40 years ago, 30 years ago, but I believe we, God is raising up a people who, who will not rot away. Amen. I believe God is raising up a people that say, I watched my parents, I watched my family decay, I watched my family yes, never sir. participate in the glorious gospel, mm -hmm. and I know that there's got to be something yeah. more. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to sit in, in the building, four walls, no, day after day after day, mm -hmm. and never experience the very thing we discussed. Yeah. That's, that's something too because one of the things that the, the scripture says is this says that tra tra traditions of men make the word of God of none effect. Mm -hmm. And we look at things that we've done traditionally uh, that our parents <coughs> did and it didn't produce anything. It never produced the Christ. But yet we still continue in it and we, we continue in it as if we expect something to happen. But if nothing happened then, why can't we come to the mindset that something needs to change? We need to, yeah. we need to find out why we can't produce what God talks about. How can you have faith in something that you and, and believe in something that you can't even see producing anything? Right, right. We producing the same things that our parents did. Mm -hmm. We still in bondage to some of the same things. Mm -hmm. The same thing that the Bible talks about curses being broken and everything else, but yet we still walking in some of the same things that they walked in. Right. But yet we claim to have greater understanding and greater liberty. Mm -hmm. We're in the information age. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if anybody say anything to you now, you go Google. Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo! You know what I'm saying? Back in the days, you couldn't do it. 30 years ago, you couldn't. If a pastor preached a message, you were stuck like Chuck. That's right. Now, if a pastor come up with a message and bring something that's over your head, you can say, let me go. Let me go see. Check it out. Now, you don't even have to go home. You can just say, We're right, in the, right in the sermon. G what? G3? 33? Yes. That's about what it is. So we get smarter now. So you know you can't keep that thing, that carrot dangling before the cart. You can't right, do it no more. Right, right. Yeah. And now everybody needs to become responsible. Say, I'm gonna take responsibility for my spiritual development. Amen. 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 That's good. Let me show you something. I don't want to go put this in here, but when you was talking, it, it brought something to me. Proverbs 21, 16. Let me show you something. Proverbs 21. Then I'm gonna get to uh, what my I, I asked God for a definition for sound doctrine because I went on Google. And yeah, and it was Buku was up with like one million seven hundred and something searches. So I said, you know what, God, can you tell me? Yeah. I like to get something so I can make it applicable for everybody. Twenty one sixteen. Twenty one sixteen. It said the churches that has an adjective called dead. Yeah. 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 Dead men's bones. Yeah. yeah. Whenever we become a people that don't confide in or trust in. Seeking after understanding, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you become a candidate for abiding in a congregation or a church that represents death. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. That's why I challenge you to bring your brains to church. Yes. Don't uh, when you come here. I don't, don't challenge me. I challenge you <laughs> to bring your brain. I bring my brain. Amen. It's proven through the message. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm not zoning out, but I need you to come in so we can be in agreement, bear witness one another, cry one to another, and say, man, I did go back and study. Here it is another Wednesday. Mm -hmm. and, I, and then you get that satisfaction, and you get that, that confidence in you. And then you can, not only can you go and study for yourself, but now you have confidence in the one that's leading you. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. We've had a lot of people come here, and we, 
began to deal with those wild gourds, and they left because they were more, they had more confidence in the church that they were at for 40 years, 20 years, and 30 years. They got to this little church, and then they, they zoned out. I, I can't stay here. I like this part of it. I don't like that part of it. I like your preaching, but I don't like your eschatology. <laughs> well, you keep after that stuff. Go ahead and run after it if you want to. But God is raising up people that are not going to move away from understanding. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. For real. <laughs> it's very important that we understand because you won't grow without it. You can have all the wisdom. Matter of fact, you can't have wisdom without understanding. You need knowledge first. You need to get exposed to fresh information. And then you need to know how to put things in its right place. Because wisdom is having knowledge and knowing where to put it. See, and I told you a long time ago, wisdom is simply knowing what to do with what you know. Amen. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's simple right there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you get something and you say, well, where does it fit? That's wisdom. How do I do it? That's wisdom. But in these days, God is breaking away every falsehood, every lie. There, I'm telling you, there's a freedom on the horizon. All the lies are going to be swept away. Now, sound doctrine, let me get it to you before I forget. Sound doctrine is a system of principles. Sound doctrine is a system of principles. Sound doctrine is a system of principles that create a thought process. That create a what? A thought process. What is, a thought process is what we call a stronghold. Tradition is a stronghold. Kingdom is a positive stronghold. Thought processes are your core values. If you don't have any core values, you don't have a stronghold, then you, your thought processes are incorrect. Mm -hmm. So your decision making is just is headed off is for destruction. I'm doing that so y'all can write. That's why I'm taking my, you know, trying to. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sound doctrine is a system of principles that create a thought, create a thought process that is expressed through our lifestyle. That's powerful. When God gave that to me, brother, I almost fell out. I'm like, what? I'm gonna say it again, boo. <laughs> A si sound doctrine is a system of principles that create a thought process that is expressed through our lifestyle. That's expressed through what? Our lifestyle. Now, if the principles you have doesn't establish a thought process, then it will never appear in your lifestyle. I'm going to say it again. Yeah. If you have a system of principles, we're talking systems of principles here. Got that? If it doesn't build or establish thought processes, then it would never be expressed in your lifestyle. That's why we have babies in churches. Because they, they, they weren't, they, some years ago they weren't told talk, talk to think. You just listen to me. Follow me. I'm going to get everything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get all the, the riches that the kingdom has to offer. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to keep you at a, at a certain stage of development. Because I'm the head pooper. I'm the head honcho. I'm the dog in charge. Head dog in charge. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of things we won't, we won't really understand anyway. Of, you know, and being in a house like this, it's a lot of things that you won't understand unless you go back and look up the Hebrew and the Greek. If you don't, look, if you don't do those types of things... You will never 